Hi everyone, welcome to Zynerd's uh, info guide of uh, Jammu and Kashmir for NEET PG 2025. Uh, Jammu and Kashmir and uh, Ladakh uh, uh, candidates are eligible for Jammu and Kashmir seats. Jammu and Kashmir basically is a closed state. So which means basically they don't have any seat which is available on an all India basis. Everybody is eligible for this set of seats. Uh, even in private institutes that is not available. Jammu and Kashmir has specific eligibility criteria. We will look at all that in this session. The NEET PG percentile qualification for general EWS candidates including JKPM. JK police and military or uh, central defense personnel uh, or uh, uh, sports proficiency candidates who fall under general EWS. So anybody who is general EWS including those who are in this category under general EWS, 50th percentile is the criteria. Anybody who falls under ST, ST1 or the socially economically backward classes like OBC, along line of control, international border or resident of backward areas, they will be coming under uh, 40 percentile criteria. If you are above 235 marks, you will be eligible. So, JKPM, CDP, or SP candidates who are in this will be 40 percentile, uh, will have eligibility as 40 percentile. 50 percentage of government institute seats in Jammu and Kashmir in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir will be eligible, will be available under Jammu and Kashmir uh, counseling and 100 percentage seats in private institutes of Jammu and Kashmir. ASCOMS is the only private institute seats, a Hindu minority institute, all of them will be available for Jammu and Kashmir uh, residents. Now, who is eligible. Uh, the eligibility is straightforward. You should be a resident of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh. Either uh, uh, UT of uh, JK or UT of Ladakh, you should be a resident of. You need a domicile certificate on this. The domicile criteria you can check. Obviously, if you are from Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh, you would know the residence, uh, the domicile criteria. Uh, ineligibility, anybody who has registered for a PG diploma or degree and have not uh, passed or uh, discontinued uh, the course. So, basically registered for a PG degree or a diploma and have not passed or not completed or discontinued the course till the end of that co course duration you will not be eligible let us say i joined in 2024 in jammu and kashmir then 2027 is supposed to make comp course completion i resign midway i am continuing in that case i am not eligible candidates who leave mdms pg diploma the same things mentioned again but discontinuation based Midway will be ineligible for admission or counselling for the next three years. If you have done it in Jammu and Kashmir, you will not be eligible for Jammu and Kashmir again. FMGs are also eligible. I am a resident of UT of JK or Ladakh, but I did a foreign medical graduation. Uh, I am still eligible for Jammu and Kashmir as long as I have a domicile certificate based eligibility. Vertical reservation is there. This is the reservation in Jammu and Kashmir. Vertical reservation is open merit is 50 percentage, SC is 8 percentage. Then you have ST category candidates split into ST1 and ST2. The categories are mentioned over here. Even during registration, it will ask you to confirm based on these categories. Uh, it is 10 percentage each. And then you have resident of backward areas at 10 percentage. Uh, uh, ALC candidates, actual line of control candidates uh, and uh, international border uh, candidates 4 percentage and other backward classes 8 percentage. EWS possibly within the 10 percentage uh, like it always happens from the general there is a 10 percentage EWS. So, uh, uh, horizontal reservation there is also horizontal reservation for candidates who are from JK not from Ladakh from JK children of defense personnel children of paramilitary forces this is JKPM uh, paramilitary forces or police personnel or uh, candidates possessing outstanding proficiency in sports if you are possessing uh, uh, a sports certificates at national level international level etc you will be able to apply for the JK sports council and get yourself as part of the specific list for JK sports candidates. One percentage reservation within this, that is a horizontal reservation. You also have four percentage reservation, two percentage each for UT of Ladakh, uh, basically for uh, uh, ST candidates in Kargil and ST uh, Ladakh candidates, ST lay candidates for the districts. Uh, now, this is specific to Ladakh. So, this particular set of seats will be based on the Ladakh merit list. Basically, a kind of a separate merit list or within that merit list, whoever is a part of Ladakh, they will be allotted separately for this set of seats. They will be eligible for this set of seats. While registering, you will have to clearly mention you are from Ladakh and you will have to select STL or STK according to your district. Now, here, uh, the registration demo is already available. You can have a look at it. What is the application process? Register using your basic details and then after registering, an activation link will be sent to your email. The email would have been mentioned by you here. Uh, then it will be sent to your email, click on it and enter the OTP received over by email and create a new password. So, this ends your basic registration of activation. After, once it is activated, fill your personal details and upload the required documents. We have already done a session on this. Uh, go, uh, if you, can uh, if you uh, wish to uh, go have a look at it, please have a look at it. After completion, print your application. That is the end of the application form. Ensure that all your certificates are uploaded properly. 
right now nothing to be paid but at the time of counseling or choice filling a payment of 2000 rupees is needs to be paid at the time of counseling and choice filling before choice filling you should have paid 2000 to fill your choices right now your application needs to be filled in uh, put in place documents required these are the documents required always list here before you get your need pg uh, before you upload your need pg results card remove password protection basically you can put in your password create a and then open your pdf do a control p or print your pdf and save as pdf or microsoft print to pdf so basically once you do that a new pdf will be generated without a password or you can use a remove pa password protection using docuscanner or any of the apps available uh, these are required during where whatever is mentioned as required are all required during uh, upload uh, application form filling these are required only if it is applicable for you some of it is mandatory some of it only if it is applicable but all these might need to be taken at later point in time as mentioned if you are going for admission now here uh, need pg result card need pg admit card the mbbs degree certificate is required to be uploaded currently only the scorecard needs to be uploaded mbbs marks and attempt certificate needs to be there attempt certificate some can these institutes have asked it later only so these two possibly at a later point in time only internship completion certificate and date of birth certificate currently for this the metric uh, uh, plus two examination or uh, uh, card is also fine uh, your certificates are also fine and uh, domicile certificate this is the primary qualification so without this you will not be eligible this is an absolute requirement domicile certificate is what makes you eligible for uh, the jk counseling jk lada counseling mca state or ut medical registration certificate we had a discussion uh, thanks to one of the candidates who had connected with us we had clarified this any state medical council registration is fine but they are suggesting to take a J jk medical council registration but even if it is another state medical council registration tomorrow you will not get jk medical council registration please apply with that you will be able to go ahead and later you will be able to take the jk medical council registration category certificate uh, valid if the if, till the date of uh, uh, valid at the time of registration so first the certificate should be valid at the time of registration it should not have been expired three things here very clearly it should not have been expired before the date of registration so it expires in let us say to 2026 not a problem but if it had expired in 2025 jan you cannot use it second issue date should be before the last date of application so the last date of application before that you should have the issue date 27th is the last date of application let us say then you should have issue, yeah, got the certificate issued before or the date on the certificate we should be before that so most of you would have it very very important only state certificates need to be produced what does state certificate mean even if it is a central certificate or a state certificate you get it from jk revenue authorities only but for sc category or for ews category let us say it will have a clear state regulation or a uh, or a clause mentioned so sc category will say the 1989 or 1979 reference for state certificate whereas all India, it might be the 1950 reference. So, no, for uh, uh, central certificate. So, of on EWS2, the norms we said will be similar, but there might be a different certificate. So, ask for the state certificate and upload the state SCBC, your whatever certificates, the backward class certificates or the SC or EWS certificates. Only a state certificate is uploaded, produced to be produced. MCA clearance certificate. In case you have done your FM, uh, F, uh, you are a foreign medical graduate, you will need to get the clearance certificate. You would have got it for your internship, or even if you don't have that, if you took up an NOC at the time of joining, at uh, that itself, that you can just mention it now if you don't have a clearance certificate that you got after coming in noc for seeking admission from competent authority for in-service candidates if you are service candidate then you need to uh, 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 upload this uh, difficult area certificate if you are claiming marks if you are a service candidate government service of jk you need to upload this upload this undertaking by candidates belonging to ut of ladakh if you belong to the union territory of ladakh upload an undertaking uh, this is a bond which is specific to ut of ladakh candidates you will have to serve there for three years for clinical courses that bond is applicable and you will have to submit it you get it under stl or stk category affidavit regarding not pursuing any course or left leaving midway this will be required only at the time of later joining so currently whatever is required at the time of application we have put in you will be ready with the other certificates now uh, uh, in NRI for ASCOMS, what are the certificates required? ASCOMS is the Hindu Minority Institute where 
from round 2 there will be usually allotments before after round 1 is over what happened last year is after round 1 is over they call for nri or hindu minority candidates and then they ask them to come in and submit all the certificates and jkbop so if you go there you will submit the certificates and become part of the nri list but you have to be ready now itself always better even if they call prior you should be ready with the documents the dates for documents verification will be notified later who are all eligible for nri category 1 is the candidate itself is an NRI. Obviously, this is only for those candidates who are JK Ladakh residents. For every seat, we said it is a closed seat, only JK Ladakh residents are eligible. But within that, if candidate himself or herself is an NRI, they have first priority. So, all of them will be allotted and then category 2 would be allotted where children of NRI or wards of NRI are also there. Wards of NRI who originally belong to UT of Jammu and Kashmir are eligible. Wards is basically based on the All India Wards thing, their nearest relative or the uh, brother or sister etc they are elig uh, eligible to sponsor the certificates required are mentioned over here so uh, this is uh, pretty clear uh, it return filed in india if you have filed then you have to submit it similarly you can have the sponsor or the candidate or parents uh, pan card etc rest of it is pretty clear if you have any queries on this if you are assigned the subscriber you can also get back to us now next is hindu minority ascoms has hindu minority seats since the only hindu minority seat across india uh, institute across India uh, as far as medical seats are concerned from round 2 they have uh, they usually do it but always keep note of uh, right from round 1 itself keep looking at notifications in case they call for during round 1 you can always submit those certificates get uh, from your revenue officer and then uh, from the competent revenue authority and then be eligible for Hindu minority seats uh, dates for document verification will be notified later now note that Last year, they had a completely different rule of round 1 to round 2, round 2 to round 3. Upgradation was possible only once kind of a rule. We expect that Jammu and Kashmir will change the rules this year. We are expecting this. Two sources from us for us. One, they have removed the last year's rule from the Jammu and Kashmir prospectus of 2025. They started 2024 with the rules very clear, one-time upgradation. First round you get to second round you get upgraded, no more upgradation. Or if you did not get upgraded, first round to third round you can go. Kind of a confusing rules. But this year we expect that it will change. Second, we have had a candidate thankfully, uh, a big thanks to uh, sir uh, that uh, he has uh, uh, talked to JQ BOPE and they have mentioned that there might be upgradation till round 3. We have to wait for the rules. Please wait for the rules but keep looking at changes compared to last year. And uh, fee structure for government institutes, uh, the government institutes have a fee structure of 25,000 for uh, uh, GMC Srinagar and uh, Jammu is 19,710 and uh, diploma is uh, 10,000. SKIMS alone has a fee structure of 61,000. SKIMS is an autonomous institute and deemed university. Deemed university does not mean that it is a private institute. There are some deemed universities run by government itself. The status has been provided. SKIMS is a specific autonomous institute. We can consider it autonomous government or deemed. Uh, SKIMS has a higher fee structure, but also look at the stipend later, it will be slightly higher. It will be slightly higher, it will be higher. Uh, ASCOM's Jammu government quota fee and the management quota or Hindu minority quota fee is mentioned. You, uh, NRI seats are at around 26,317. All these fees is per annum fee. If per year, this is the fee that is mentioned. Now, uh, service bond, Ladakh candidates have a, for clinical, they have a service bond of 3 years 50 lakhs. 2 years 45 lakhs for other courses, uh, possibly this means uh, diploma. JK candidates, the bond has been proposed and it has not been notified yet. Notified in the sense, it is pending with the finance department on confirming the proposal and the budget and they have asked for some clarification. Uh, basically, that is the notification that you see. The finance department has asked for a clarification in terms of whether it aligns with the NMC suggested policy. That will go back and then the finance department has to allocate the budget of 50 crores or something and then the bond of 2 years might be implemented. That is the exact status as of now. The prospectus of 2025 does not have the bond but if it is implemented, we will come back to you and we will update it. Till that point in time, the proposal is at the final stages. The expectation is that it is going to be implemented. The implementation we will come to know only when there is a clear notification of implementation. So, might be this year or next year. Now, stipend, stipend in government institutes, uh, you have Srinagar and uh, 
uh, Jammu having the same stipend uh, 59,500 to 66,500 skims as a higher stipend of around 23-24k extra uh, 82 to 88k. Ascoms gives a stipend of 45,560. So this are the, this is the stipend uh, information and uh, that's uh, pretty much what we have as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. In case you have any queries, you are a Zainad subscriber, please connect with us on these numbers. Uh, we'll be available for you uh, from Monday to Friday 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, all the queries would be answered. Any queries on the data, etc. will uh, surely help you out with All India Counseling, Jammu and Kashmir or any state counseling. All the best.